Hello and welcome to the SWS Natu Natu series, right? Uh, you would have seen many of our videos pertaining to English language, history and civics. This video is to do with English literature, treasure trove stories in particular. Okay, uh, I think 25 or 26 questions, MCQ. But what is the difference? Is that because you have read it now, you will have revised it now, you will have so what I will do is to go through the MCQs or jahan jahan par thoda explanation deni ke ho and I want to pinpoint certain facts, highlight certain aspects of a particular story or in subsequent videos on poems or Merchant of Venice, I will do that. Okay, so revision bhi ho jayegi, testing bhi ho jayegi, explanation bhi ho jayega. So a three in one as part of the SWS Natu Natu series. If you want more, Please look at our English literature test series and the test series of physics, chemistry, bio, mathematics, English language, geography and history civics in which there is comprehensive 30, 35, 38 kind of test papers done chapter wise. And in the case of uh, physics and maths, we have put a, a couple of full 80 marks test papers. Even geography has a full 80 marks question paper with which you can test yourself in the days before the examination. So like kijiye, share kijiye, subscribe zaroor kijiye. Let's get started. Are you ready with your pen and paper? So the first one, this video is about treasure troves stories, the five stories. This story, uh, the first five questions are about uh, all summer in a day. The children put their hands to their ears because they felt they had lost their sense of hearing. They did not want to hear Margaret's cries. They could not bear the sound of the rain. Now, it's very important and I'll tell you irrespective of what others tell you. If people tell you that summary padna kafi hai, I can tell you they are completely wrong. It's not enough to read the summary of the story. I would advise you to read the stories and the poems and MOV in particular multiple times. Multiple times before the examination. Two hours before the examination, on the morning of the examination, on the 1st of March also, I would actually advise you to read your textbook once again. Because the textbook is what is key. The textbook is what is key. Now here, let's point out exactly the line so that you know because all these MCQs are most likely to be taken. They won't be interpretative in nature. They would be based on factual details. Key kitab mein kya likha hai, kya word ka istamal kiya gaya hai, ya us word ka meaning kya ho sakta hai, us tarah ke MCQs aap se puche jayenge. So in this particular case, right, the book says, the children put their hands to their ears, right, the silence was, the ground, the world ground to a standstill, right, aap se MCQ mein puchha ja sakta hai, ye ground ka kya matlab hai, now ground ka matlab generally maidan hota hai, but yahaan par, it has been used as a verb form of grind, right? So you need to have that understanding of each and every word. And that's what we really focus on, right? Uh, you need to understand that kind of deep understanding is necessary so that you can actually score a hundred on hundred, which is very much possible in the English literature paper, right? From 2019 onwards, so many of our students have done so. So it says that, uh, the silence was so immense and unbelievable that you felt your ears had been stuffed or you had lost your hearing altogether. So they put their hands to their ears because they felt they had lost their sense of hearing. So option A is the right option. So unless you have read your text very, very carefully, you would miss that. You could suddenly think that they could not bear the sound of the rain. You may think that it is probably because of that. Now comes the next question. Margaret would clutch her hands to her ears. So you see, there are both aspects because she did not want the water to touch her head. She hated to shower. Her skin was allergic to water. Now, what does the text exactly say? It says she had refused to shower in the school shower rooms, had clutched her hands to her ears and over her head, screaming that the water must not touch her head, right? Because she did not want the water to touch her head, right? So that is the uh, correct option, option A. 
third question in the poem that margaret wrote she compared the sun now here there are many comparisons many things which have been mentioned a flower a penny and a lemon right which some of the things that the other children had written and some of the things that margaret herself had written so in the beginning it says uh, she knew that they were dreaming and remembering gold or a yellow crayon or a coin penny right large enough to buy the world with so these are all what she thinks the other children are dreaming of to us tarah se bhi question ko frame kiya ja sakta hai so always when you are reading the text please keep underlining and please keep thinking ki this can be an mcq question this is a factual detail which can actually be asked as an mcq question so please be very conscious of that please be very aware of that keep creating your own set of questions okay and then she says they had written small stories or essays or poems about it i think the sun is a flower that blooms for just an hour that was margaret's poem right so she had compared it to a flower okay you didn't write that who said these words and to whom one of the boys to margaret teacher to margaret or margaret to william right now this was you didn't write that protested one of the boys who has not been named most likely william but not named directly so the option will be a fourth a what caused the silence on the planet the teacher had asked the students to be quiet they were guilty for having locked up margaret the rain had stopped so what had caused the silence again look at the book i would strongly because even while you are doing something like this if you keep looking at the book you read it it gets re registered in your mind so that aapke memory mein wo lock ho jata hai aur uske sath sath aage piche ko line book ko padhenge to aapko ek tarah se ho jayega okay this could also have been asked as a question right so uh, that's what i would really would want you to do uh, so the question is what caused this silence right the rain stopped it was as if in the midst of a film concerning an avalanche a tornado a hurricane a volcanic eruption something had first gone wrong with the sound apparatus thus muffling and finally cutting off all noise now can you think of another question that could have been asked from these lines that what are the natural calamities that uh, the author has referred to while talking of the atmosphere immediately after the stopping of the rain an avalanche a tornado a hurricane a volcanic eruption so four different kinds of natural calamities that he has mentioned even this can be asked as a question you understand what i'm trying to say maza aa raha hai to comments mein likho now let's move to the next one which is the greatest olympic prize the second last story okay now my greatest olympic prize by jesse owens why did jesse owens feel bitter bitter ka matlab not really angry a sense of you know disappointment bit of annoyance right us tarah ka mood it's not like gussa gussa it's not krodh right because he was angry with hitler's aryan superiority theory now some of you will see and immediately say ha yahi sahi hai because he had fouled twice in the trials or because he was intimidated by lust long's presence this can be possible because he was seeing him and he had been kept under wraps by hitler right so it's quite possible that he was feeling a little intimidated and not liking it right or because he was angry right so these three options if you see are pretty close to each other lekin mere hero agar aapne hero ya heroines agar aapne बुक को ठीक से पढ़ा है तो आपको इसमें से करेक्ट ऑप्शन ढूंढने में मुश्किल नहीं होगी राइट नाउ लेट्स गो टू द टेक्स्ट इट सेज डिड आई कम थ्री थाउजेंड माइल्स फॉर दिस आई थॉट बिटरली रीड द टेक्स्ट द लाइन आउट हियर आई थॉट बिटरली टू फॉल आउट ऑफ द ट्रायल्स एंड मेक अ फूल ऑफ माई सेल्फ so option b so even while this is also a fact that he was angry this also is a fact that he felt a little irritated or you know he was 
it taken by surprise at Lus Long's presence at uh, the Olympics, right? And only then realized that he had been kept under wraps by Adolf Hitler. But the word bitter has been used by Jesse Owens in the context of having fouled twice in the trials, right? That's what happened. So the words which have been used by the authors, by the poet, by Mr. William Shakespeare, उन सभी वर्ड्स को याद रखना जरूरी है और ये याद तभी हो पाएगा मेरे बंधु when you would be underlining when you would be reading multiple times I repeat if someone tells you to read a summary ask him to go and take a walk okay according to Jesse Owens what was his greatest Olympic prize snubbing Hitler because he managed to do so by shaking Les Long's hands, you know, and by winning so many gold medals, which is not what Hitler wanted him to do, right? He wanted his guy to win the medals. His four gold medals at the uh, Olympics or his friendship with Les Long, the correct option is C, his friendship with Les Long. Again, text pado, it says all the uh, medals, you can melt down all the gold medals and cups I have and they could not be a plating on the 24 carat friendship I felt for Lus Long at that moment, right? So that is something which you can do. In which year did Jesse Owens set the world record in running broad jump? 1934, 1935, 1936. 1936 was the Olympic record, yaad rakho. So 1936 mein Berlin Olympics huye the. Text mein kya kaha gaya hai? A year before as a sophomore, sophomore is a second year student at the Ohio State University. So it means one year back means 1935 is when he set the world record. 1936 was the Olympic record. Please know the difference between the two. World record is set at the world championship. Olympic record is set at the Olympic Games which are held every four years. World Championships, sometimes they are held every two years also. Of course, during the World War, etc., there was a bit of a chaos and they were not being held very regularly, right? So the correct answer in this case will be 1935, a year before. That is something which you need to remember. My greatest Olympic prize, Jesse, in my greatest, now read the question carefully. In my greatest Olympic prize, Jesse Owen speaks of Adolf Hitler's belief in Nazism, Aryan superiority theory and German nationalism. Now you see Hitler believed in all three. Hitler believed in Nazism. He headed the Nazi party. Aryan superiority theory, yes. And German nationalism, the aggressive nationalism which you have read in the history textbook. He believed in all three. But the operative word here is in my greatest Olympic prize, Jesse Owen speaks of. What is Jesse Owens referring to? He is referring to the Aryan superiority theory. So, reading the question becomes that much more important. Okay. Tenth question. Jesse Owen says that an angry athlete will make mistakes. Who else will tell you that? Las Long, a coach or Pierre de Coubertin. Right. Now, text ko padte hain. Usme bola gaya hai. An angry athlete is an athlete who will make mistakes as any coach will tell you. So this is like, you know, a chota sa detail which normally students will ignore. Usko nikal ke a question ki tara frame kiya gaya hai. Again, confusion because suddenly at that point in time, especially if you have not read the text multiple times, not read it carefully, you may end up writing less long or you may think, oh, last paragraph tha na italics mein. Usi mein likha hoga Pierre de Coubertin ne, to usko dal dete hai. And you miss out something which looks a little innocuous, right? So the correct option is B, a coach. The author says the crocodile was twice the length. Let's now come to the blue bead. This is from 2022 question paper, semester one. The author says the crocodile was twice the length of a tall man. This means that the crocodile was approximately now a normal length of a man. Height of a man is six feet, generally considered as an average, not average, but Considered like that. It's generally between 5 to 6 feet kind of thing, right? So, this means that the crocodile was approximately 12 feet because what does the text say? 
what does the text say now i want to tell you one more thing about the blue bead now the text says he was twice the length of a tall man right so 12 feet long blue bead is like a descriptive essay please read blue bead and all summer in a day these are two chapters which have lots and lots of details all summer in a day ka beach ka portion where uh, the author is describing the life on venus the vegetation on venus and the first four to five pages definitely of the blue bead in fact through the story but definitely all the description of the crocodile all the description of sibia you need to know and all the description of the gujar uh, camp you need to know these details very very well that's very important because mcqs isi me se aane ke chances jada hai okay the highlight of sibia's day was finding the blue bead for her necklace killing the crocodile or rescuing the crocodile nahi hoga the gujar woman ye galat ho gaya rescuing the gujar woman so the correct option is a finding the blue bead for her necklace the gujars mentioned in the story were wandering herdsmen primitive cultivators or stone age hunters the correct option is wandering herdsmen again mentioned in your story the crocodile would sometimes go to the guards to feed feed on the skeleton cow yes they ate the skeleton cow but here the operative word is go to the guards right skeleton cow half burned human bodies or pie dog full of parasites right the correct option is b half burned human body see as i told you there are test papers chapter wise test papers of english literature okay not combined chapter wise aki you can revise in blue bead i think we have put something like 40 mcqs right apart from that i had also done some videos last year before semester 1 and semester 2 you can look at those videos here on youtube also plus this i can't imagine more comprehensive revision and a plus explanation than this right so you can look at all of them right and i strongly recommend i mean our test papers are something which i do believe because it's not a cut paste job from here and there they are made by us and that makes a big difference what caught the attention of sibia at the sweet meat stall wild honey sugar syrup or honey confections now this can be confusing because you know in tino ko मेंशन किया गया है तो चलते हैं बिग बॉस के घर के अंदर इट सेज शी हैड पॉज अमेज बिफोर द स्वीट मीट स्टॉल टू गेज एट द ब्रिलियंट हनी कन्फेक्शन टू गेज एट द ब्रिलियंट हनी कन्फेक्शन सो वट कॉट द एटेंशन सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सी हनी कन्फेक्शन दे स्मेल्ट वॉन्डरफुल अब द स्मेल्स ऑफ ड्रेन एंड ह्यूमैनिटी एंड चीप सिगरेट्स एट होम now this can be also an mcq at home she sometimes tasted wild honey or crunched the syrup out of a stalk or sugar of sugar cane so what would she eat at what would she kind of taste at home in that case it will be wild honey right so main kitni baar hi bolu details 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 that's what your focus in this one week before the examination ought to be okay but these sweets were green and magenta so color kya hai that can be another question so ek hi paragraph mein se i can actually make at least three different kinds of questions okay let's now move to an angel in disguise the mother was sent to the pauper grave what does the word pauper <coughs> mean pauper now this is like more testing your vocabulary right dishonorable drunkard poor now you may think you may should not get confused with the word pauper grave pauper ka matlab what does the word pauper mean is what is asked so the pauper word means poverty poor right a state of poverty whom did uh, farmer jones consult before taking the boy again a very small detail which you may miss out in the larger context of the story because we are focus is generally even while we are reading the story our focus is on the main characters and who are the main characters there is maggie there is joe thompson his wife right so the others don't seem very significant right but this is a very small detail in the story right uh, angel in disguise on page 1 itself after considering the matter and talking it over with his wife farmer jones said that he would take john right so farmer jones consulted before taking the boy the uh, boy john his he consulted his wife right so you know these are small details which 
you ought not to miss out, right? The neighbors had different opinions about the poor house, right? What among the following was not an opinion that they expressed? Not. Jaha par bhi not ho, kya hona chahiye? Aapka antenna upar chala jana chahiye. Blessing for Maggie, temporary shelter or a sad place. Let's look at the textbook. Page 2. It says, one person said, the poor house is a sad place for a sick and helpless child. So, sad place is something which was said. So, this is not an option. So, A or B. For your child or mine, said the other lightly speaking. But for this brat, it will prove to be a blessed change. She will get, she will be kept clean, have healthy food and be doctored, which is more than can be said for her past condition. So, a blessed change means blessing for Maggie. So, B is not something which the neighbors expressed an opinion about, right? That came later. What does the expression vinegar, vinegar tempered convey? Bitter, cruel or pragmatic, right? Bitter, cruel or pragmatic. Vinegar essentially is a bitter kind of a taste. So the option A. What was Maggie suffering from? Injured ankle, injured leg or injured spine? Option C, injured spine. Okay. So, you know, this can be very close. You know, leg, ankle is all the same thing. You know, spine ankle is in the leg so you may get confused and this is essentially the way you could be confused with different options in the examination let's now come to the little match girl the end of the little match girl conveys rebirth end of her sufferings or better life after death what does it convey so the option b is correct where it says end of her sufferings question number 22 with her death, the little match girl no longer knew cold, hunger, fear or all of the above. She no longer knew cold because this is what she was suffering from that night. Hunger, yes. Fear, fear of her father. So it's obviously option D, all of the above. The main theme of the little match girl is compassion and empathy for the poor, family bonding, the impact of the cold winter. Now, all these are themes which are touched upon by the author Hans Anderson, but we are talking of the main theme. The main theme is compassion and empathy for the poor. You know, the, pe the rich people in that particular unnamed city are very busy enjoying themselves without bothering about the state of this poor, helpless girl who is feeling extremely cold and hungry. 24th, from the information in the story, which statement is not true of the little match girl? She lived in a decrepit house. Her mother loved her very much. Her father sent her to earn money. Option C is a fact. Option A is also a fact. Her mother, except for that little reference to her slippers, we do not really know anything or at least we have not been told anything about the relationship between the little match girl and her mother. So option B, of the lot, always remember, you are to choose the most appropriate option, right? There may be two, three options which may seem correct, but what is the most appropriate option is what you need to choose as far as the MCQs are concerned. Final question, 25th, the falling star is a premonition of the death of the grandmother, the girl's death or the end of the Christmas tree vision. The correct answer is B, the girl's death, because that's what it says. Hena, that's what it says that you know, uh, when a star falls, you go off to uh, heaven. Whenever a star falls, a soul goes up to God. So it's a premonition. Premonition is something which you think of uh, is going to happen and you get some kind of an, not an idea, but some kind of a feeling that something good or something bad is going to happen. So uh, that's how, uh, that's the meaning of the word premonition, right? So uh, with this, we come to the end of this particular video on Treasure Store Stories MCQs. I hope you found it useful. I hope you also got an idea on how to prepare for the MCQs, which will help you not just with the MCQs, mind you, it will also help you when you are writing your subjective question and answers because 
आपका ध्यान ज्यादा से ज्यादा डिटेल पर रहेगा और जितना ज्यादा डिटेल जितना ज्यादा आप टेक्स्ट में से कीवर्ड्स को कोट करेंगे जितना ज्यादा आप यू विल कोट फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट इट सेल्फ एंड दिस अप्लाइज टू ऑल थ्री पोएम स्टोरीज एंड एमओवी उतने ज्यादा आपका स्कोर बढ़ता रहेगा तो अगर आपको स्कोर बढ़ाना है तो प्लीज डू वॉट आई एम टेलिंग यू टू डू ऑल द बेस्ट यू विल सी यू इन येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द एस डब्ल्यू एस नाटू नाटू सीरीज कमिंग अप वेरी सुन ऑन योर ओन डिजिटल क्लासरूम थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग